Good afternoon, kings and queens. It is your boy, Loso the Barber. Feeling good, feeling great. Hopefully, everybody out there is feeling the same. Now, as you know, I sent out a question there for anyone to ask me a question in regards to barbering or life. Um, and this young king, Andre, sent this question that you see here. I wanted to see uh, your opinion on people that pull up to your chair, you consult, and they cut you off, telling you a very specific cut, mid-fade, with a one, for example. Then, when you're done, they tell you they want a zero fade instead. This been bothering me because um, I consult with fools. <laughs> I believe that's what he said. Because I consult and fools act confident um, as hell about what they're asking for. I've been told in school at the end of the day, it's the barber's fault for not consulting well enough. Let me throw in the fact that sometimes you can't even ask a question because they already know what they want. First and foremost, let me tell you how I do it when I when it comes to my client, especially if it's a new client that's someone that I cut probably one to four times, right? I always ask them, you know, you know, we figure out the time, the date, um, and what service they want, right? Um, and then we go from there. That's number one. Number two, when the date comes and they sit in my chair, um, I confirm what haircut it is that they want. And then secondly, I ask them to show me a picture of the actual haircut that they want. Now, once it's established the haircut that they want, um, then I pursue to ch check the hair for cuts, abrasion, bruises that may be on the scalp or anything that might not let me cut this person's hair. Now, being a barber with experience, a lot of times a client may say they want this, that, and the third. You know, a client may come in and say they want a ball fade, but really want a taper. A, a client may come in and say they want a ball fade, but really want a taper. You get what I'm saying? So as barbers, we the captains of the ship. So we got to make sure we're on the same page before we even cut any hair off the head. So if they say they want a two on top, you know, I go and I cut the two off the top. I take a few strokes with that clipper, right? And I show them that in the mirror to make sure that's what they want. A lot of times they want to go lower, you know what I mean? So then I can go lower. So once I have the desired length, I go in and I cut the hair to that desired length and I create that haircut that they asked for that they sent into the picture. So now that we're on the same page, the job is gonna get done accordingly, okay? We have the length, uh, we have the haircut that we want, and I'm ready to start my job. Now, lastly, it's your job as a barber to make sure that you coach your clientele on specific haircuts, right? Uh, well, this is a ball fade, well, this is a taper, well, this is a whatever, whatever that person may want. Because you'll run into some clients who don't know what they want and they'll ask you, what kind of haircut should they get? Kind of wild, but it happens all the time. So just be prepared for that. Ultimately, know that once you cut the hair off, you can't put it back on. Thanks, Andre, for reaching out.